Hello students. In the last video, I explained professional skills training (PST), right? Now, in this video, I'm gonna explain you about the OPET exam. As you asked about OPET only, how to fill the examination form, how to register for this, and how to prepare for the OPET exam. With, uh, what kind of the question they ask? Everything I'll cover in this video. So, this is the official website of uh, IFOA. Go to the first. Go to the Learn and Develop section, right? now here you find cpd and the professional skills training tap on this right this is scroll down you will get uh, professional skills training pst right as i told you in the pst there are three stages stage 1 stage 2 and stage 3 but in this video i'll going to explain opet only so in the this is the this is this uh, the, uh, the whole description is for the opet only right but skip this link and go to the apply for the online professional awareness test you will find everything you will find everything in this page right so duration is the 90 minute 90 minute duration of this right and will be shown on the some scenario and ask the question about them so the very simple question that uh, you ask what kind of the question they cover the so question based on the scenarios on the real life problems and you just need to give your judgment professional judgment all right just read this line in which you need to exercise your professional judgment only right and this judgment is properly based on actuary's code as i told you right so uh, just read this line this test aims to develop your ability to exercise judgment in the compromising ethical situations including those where you need to seek advice from the senior colleagues so you'll able to understand now the opet exam is asking questions on the uh, uh, like on the kind of case study right situation situa situational based right uh, or or on some scenario right and you just need to give the answer on the basis of your professional judgment right now uh, just skip this line for the time being as i told you uh, this paper is only applicable for those who joined after first march 2012 right now this is important one in this five questions they ask right and each co each covering one of the five core principle of actuary's code now what is actually scored i already shown uh, in the last video and today also i will show you right and each question will have the three parts in every question will face three parts part one part two and part three right part one is a five marks part two ten marks and five part three is again five marks right so one question uh, having a weightage of 20 marks right so we have five questions so 100 mark paper is there so first part is based directly on the wording of the actuary's code right they are up to five marks and part two describe a situation and then possesses a question which three possible situation means they ask one question and give you three, uh, three kind of three question or three in part two they give you one question and also three possible solutions and out of that three possible solutions you will need to choose one of them right most suited or most related according to the question you have to choose out of the three possible solutions in the second part the weightage of second part is 10 marks part three each question uh, will then ask the additional question taking the original situation a stage further right that is uh, the situation they ask in part two they will carry forward the situation in the part three right and the weightage of this part three is again five marks so in, so the first only one question right first question which is, is what 20 marks and we have five questions so in totality we have a 100 marks paper op it now uh this is a very important line you just need to read it you should read actuary code before applying and should have a copy to hand while take the test as i told you just read the whole actuary's code what is actuary's code all about the five or six part points are there right and you should take a copy while doing your exam because uh, in each question they ask your question they ask their questions and want your judgment on the basis of actuary's code only right and now 
to come to uh, very important again student membership uh, student members have been placed in category 5 if you are not aware with the category system they are just uh, you know divide the n number of students n number of fellows n number of associate on the category system category 1 category 2 category 5 category 6 7 and so on so don't uh, you know focus on that part for the time being you being as a student you lies in the category 5 very simple right so for the category 5 this means that you do not need to complete any technical learning right being as a student you don't need to uh, cover the technical round and your cpd requirement is limited to the professional skills training shown above right means your test your opet exam for the category 5 only will very generic very easy right they will not ask any technical technicality in this they will not cover that right so uh, to apply this for the opet exam uh, where is the link this to take the free of charge opet test you just need to go to the application form now this is the process this is the application form class just download the form in the word file right this is the file opet right class this is the opet form right examination for what professional awareness test you just need to select here and put a tick mark here so how to put here tick mark just go to the insert section right then symbol more symbol right so this tick sign is here just insert this so here is the tick sign right here is a name in the block letters so i'll fill for me ketan rohila right and here is my ARN number right now you just need to tick here also class so in this just go to the symbol section more symbol is there tick i already selected insert it right and delete the box right similarly here also class uh, go to the this section and insert this and uh, delete this box right so this is the form is all about right so one tick is there one tick is there my arn number my name my name in block letters and tick sign is here after filling this form you just need to mail this in this mail address education dot services at the rate of actuaries dot org dot uk the official mail address of there you, you just need to mail them and they will what book your exam free of cost before the first july 2020 just book your exam as soon as possible for the safe and side purpose right now this is the process now most of the student ask how we get the actuaries code on their website right so class this is the official website the main page right search here actuaries code i already searched there actuaries code is there right search it actually oh sorry spelling is now search here actuaries codes right so here it is my actuary code file right read the full code so here it is my four pages pdf you can read it and take the printout and keep that printout along with you for the exam purpose right every question directly or indirectly they cover on the basis of this actuary code so don't forget to read it read this before your exam right it is very easy exam don't be panic on that part right so best of luck for your exam thank you